chapter 6 the lesson is study of the first element hydrogen page 98 in today's class let us learn the various methods of preparing hydrogen hydrogen gas the first one is by the action of water on metals the second is by the action of steam on non metals the third is displacement of hydrogen from dilute acids fourth displacement of hydrogen from alkalis lab preparation of hydrogen and the last one manufacture of hydrogen that is on a larger scale hydrogen gas can be manufactured by Bosch process and it can be also prepared by electrolysis of water. Let's take up the first method by the action of water on metals. All metals does not react with cold water few metals like metals like sodium potassium and calcium react with cold water okay the reaction if we conduct is something like this let's take up the first metal to be potassium beaker containing water is taken and when potassium piece the metal piece potassium is dropped it floats on water then it starts forming gray globule it forms gray globule and it also darts on surface of water darts means it is an explosive reaction it burns in air and give uh, burns in a with a lilac <coughs> colored flame then we also observe yeah lilac colored flame something like this the color of the flame is purplish it is purplish okay it's purplish lilac colored flame and we also observe the bubbles coming out yes it is nothing but the hydrogen gas is evolved and the solution is colorless the solution in the beaker is it is colorless soapy to touch and at the same time it is alkaline by nature that is if I touch or if I dip it with a red litmus paper it turns to blue, blue showing the solution is alkaline now let's see the reaction 
potassium plus water it forms yeah this is what is the colorless soapy alkaline solution that is koh also called as potash caustic potash and hydrogen gas is evolved it is not balanced you can balance it later now let's move on what happens if i drop a sodium metal sodium metal piece on surface of water this also the same just like potassium little less vigorous it starts forming a gray globule okay it rounds itself it darts it darts that darts means an explosive reaction it burns with a golden yellow flame golden yellow flame okay something like this this is the color of the flame golden yellow so as soon as when sodium comes in contact with water it <clears throat> forms a globule it darts and while darting it burns with a golden yellow flame and the solution which is yeah we also see here bubbles of hydrogen is evolved it is a colorless gas so but this inverted uh, test tube you can collect it you'll come to know the bubbles there it is hydrogen gas and the solution which is there in the beaker present in the beaker it is a colorless soapy and alkaline very important alkaline and the reaction something goes like this sodium reacts with water and what is the condition of water cold cold it forms sodium hydroxide which is alkaline in nature and we also see the hydrogen gas which is evolved Now let's see what happens if a piece a metal piece of calcium is dropped on dropped on surface of water it doesn't float but it sinks okay it doesn't float it sinks it just goes immediately reaches to the bottom of the beaker so a funnel arrangement is required like this we'll put the inverted funnel and you can have a test tube here where hydrogen gas is collected hydrogen gas is collected the solution here is also it is milky milky actually it forms some the reaction is something like this calcium reacts with water to form calcium hydroxide but calcium hydroxide is not milky it turns milky because of the presence of carbon dioxide outside it reacts with calcium hydroxide and converts the solution to milky and turbid now let's see if i react magnesium a piece of magnesium metal with cold water there is no reaction there is no reaction i'll slightly when the conditions of water is slightly modified magnesium reacts with water only when it is in boiling hot the boiling water magnesium reacts with water in the boiling condition the boiling water to form magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen gas is evolved if the condition of water is now when the temperature is little high it's going to be the water is going to be in the steam condition magnesium reacts with steam 
it doesn't form magnesium hydroxide but what do we see we see white powder of magnesium oxide is formed and hydrogen gas is evolved thank you the homework for today's class you design it in some something like this in your class work to the right corner you draw the diagram yeah and to the left you write these steps aim chemicals required reaction observation we have seen in today's class the action of cold water on potassium sodium calcium as well as magnesium but the condition of uh, water was hot boiling water as well as steam all these four reactions i want you to take the help of your text okay look at the diagram and you write all this in this pattern start with aim for example i'll show you for potassium okay some the diagram is like this and then the aim what is the aim of the experiment action of very important cold water on metal potassium the chemicals required is potassium and cold water the reaction is potassium reacts with cold water forming koh and hydrogen gas is evolved the observation is when the potassium piece is dropped on surface of water it floats on water that's your first observation second observation is it forms gray globule and it darts on the surface of water on the surface of water it burns with a lilac colored flame and bubbles of hydrogen gas hydrogen gas is formed what else you observe a colorless soapy to touch solution is formed in the beaker which is also alkaline in the same format write for sodium calcium, calcium and magnesium with the help of your textbook thank you